McDonald's breakfast. Yeah, McDonald's breakfast. This marks the beginning of our holiday. Only Bob's. Starting with a McDonald's breakfast as we always do. We're going to Cornwall for just over a week. Hopefully it's not too busy. No, we're told it's gonna be busy. We're prepared that it's gonna be busy. But yeah. I've booked everything. It's gonna be busy. Yeah. It's gonna be busy. I've booked everything. My itinerary is, but um, we're starting our trip by a uh, visit to Bristol because it's the twins' first birthday party. Yeah. His niece and nephew. And um, so we're going for a party this afternoon. And that's that, really. That's that. That's that, but we've got to get all this stuff out of the back to get the tent up for one night and then we've got to put it all back in. So I'm raging about that already and I'm not even doing it yet. Oh, Helen, Helen decided to pack the biggest, most heaviest suitcase you have ever seen in your life. Thank you. Hey, I didn't know what to pack, when so I, I packed said, everything. We're going to need to pack light because there's not much space left in the car after all the camping gear. Clearly, Helen didn't listen to a word of that. I did listen, I just chose not to comply. Right, onwards to Bristol! I'm filming this vlog on a DJI Pocket 2. I bought a vlog, new vlogging camera a couple of months ago, didn't I, at Sony, which is really good. But I've seen the DJI Pocket has always been something that I've had my eye on. And um, you know what? Like, I love cameras. I'm not justifying it, but I'm just saying. I just really wanted to give it a go, so I bought it. This one, I'm trying out for I suppose you could call this like a travel vlog, isn't it? Holiday vlog. Just for walks and stuff, and getting around is super smooth and good for taking out. I've got this little bum bag down here and it'll, it fits perfectly into it. In PSI, what? As you can probably understand, I, d I didn't vlog the birthday party just because lots of children running around. But we we stayed over big garden party. It was really fun. And um, we camped in the the garden. So we we got up relatively early. Diane pooed in the tent in the middle of the night. She woke us up at like 4 a.m. pooing by the door. I was not happy. I said that tent has seen some sights. We've come back to that tent in various different states of mind. <laughs> and no one has pooed in the tent, Diane. Can't be in the girl gang anymore. We just got up, had some coffee, sliced of toast, and we just we just had a warning come up. All right. Just had a warning come up on the car that we need to, we need to do the tires. We're gonna head down to Torquay today. Torquay. <laughs> Just checked into our hotel in Torquay and we are now going for a walk. Have a look around. Our 
adventure to Cornwall continues. So we just had a little bez around Torquay as a, our first stop on the way down and we stayed at this lovely hotel. This hotel was nice, wasn't yeah, it? We had a great really, view. Really, really nice. Really lovely, the Imperial. Going to the Eden Project today. So yeah, it's been lovely so far. We went for a meal last night on the seat on the harbour front. Wow, this just looks so nice. Yeah, it's just a pretty place to be. It's just loads of palm trees, so I'm loving it. No one's about. We're up before the crow clerks. Crow. Well, it's Monday the, no. morning. People are... Crow. Is it crow or is it the... Who, what is the saying? I'm at work or going to work. Cro the crow. Is it all the cockerel? No idea. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's really nice out, isn't it? Oh, lovely. We got a little bit lost on the way here, decided to stop following the sat nav and follow the signs, but they didn't really go anywhere. But it's alright, it's alright, we're here now, we're here now. We made it. We made it, got fizzy drink. So it's in a quarry and it looks like this. Wow, look at all the flowers. Wow. Now the dogs aren't allowed in the bio, so we're gonna take it in turns to go look around them. Um, but there's plenty of outdoor space which they're allowed to walk in. Where are you, Lo? Hello, Lula. Ooh. Cool sculpture of some sort. This is so somewhere you'd come on a school trip, innit? Mm. <laughs> What's down here? grasses. I've planted some of them in the garden. What's down here then? Myth and folklore. Cool. Ah, oh, look. Eve's apple, Tolkien's ent, Buddha bow tree, Thor's oak, Yarrow for love, Elder for protection, and the green man. Wow. That's amazing. Whoa. That's cool. That's really cool. Can I get a picture in there, Phil? <laughs> sea turtle. Eating some plastic. But it's what it's supposed to do. Plankton. We have loads of lavender and loads of bees. It smells amazing, but there's so many bees. Butterflies just zooming around. What a happy sight. Hello bees. Hello bees. Look at the banana trees! Wow! It's my turn to go in the biome. Um, we've got a late lunch booked at three o'clock 
and we'll be there on time. So I think we timed it pretty well. I, I think I would have liked to have spent a little bit longer in the Eden project without think, feeling like, okay, I've got to make sure that we leave on time because we've got a lunch to go to. Yeah. But it was still a good amount of time. I reckon an extra half an hour and it would have been, it would have felt less rushed, but- Yeah, we were like- But we were half minutes, an hour late yeah. because we got lost um, and there was traffic. But um, I felt like we saw all we wanted Well, yeah, we saw everything see. we needed to see. We wanted to see. Yeah. Car park, car park. Why? Let's just hope we can get a space. Let's open grey. Right, we managed to find a parking space. It's very busy, but they had an overflow field, which closes at 7 pm. So, Phil? Yeah, because that's when the car park overflow field closes but to be honest I, I, I wanted to be gone before then anyway so we could set up our camp have a nice lunch and then yeah go down here so there is a bus that will take you from the car park into town however we decided to work up an appetite and walk it's only a 13 minute walk which is very manageable we've got time we've got 20 minutes before our table so no brainer. Water is gorgeous. There's loads of places to eat. There's loads of cafes. It's very, very busy. But I knew it was going to be very, very busy. So I'm not like annoyed or disappointed. I'm just like, okay, I'm mentally, I'm mentally prepared. Oh, I can see it over there. And this is a very busy this is our view from our table. Perfect for people watching. What can you see? Hmm? This is our dinner. Mmm, lunch. Oh, thank you very much. Lovely. Thank you. We've got garlic bread. We've got chippies. This looks so yummy. And we are here at our campsite. Hello, Phil. We're all set up. Ta-da! I got this storage unit from Go Outdoors. Got all our food in and all our little kettle and utilities and stuff like that. Underneath, we've got some bits and bobs too. Got my beauty products on the top there and my mirror. And then the clothes go around the outside here. We got the girls who are fast asleep. And then we got the, the bed, the bed, and the lights on. I've got this doodah here. I'm gonna turn them off for now, because we don't actually need them on. Um, gonna sit and have a gin. Sit and have a gin. Should we play top tramps? Yep. Okay, cool. Good morning from the tent. We are up and getting dressed. We are getting ready to, to go out. Lola is snoozing. Dee Dee is going cray cray. Dee Dee, excited to go out. Hello friends, hello. Still relatively tidy. Just putting our towel out to dry. I'm gonna walk to St. Ives. It's about a 50 minute walk into St. Ives from a campsite, which is fair enough, reasonable for us. Or they do have a bus that goes from the campsite but it goes at quarter past nine, quarter past one, I think one in the afternoon and then it also picks you up from St. Ives too. But we missed this quarter past nine one, didn't we darling? What's that? We missed the quarter past nine bus because we were getting ready. Yeah. We did we didn't we just woke up when we wanted to didn't we? Yeah. We Which wasn't too late either. I think about eight o'clock we woke up so this holiday's all about no alarms isn't it? Yeah. Unless you've got like an excursion planned or something. When we went to Wales even though Zip World was awesome. We had to be there for like nine o'clock like every day, so we were still setting our alarm for six and getting up. Um, so it's quite nice not having to yeah. get up, is it, for anything? Just chilling. So yeah, what do you think, Didi? How was your first camping experience? <laughs> Keeps escaping out the front. I think she likes darting through the doors because they're little flaps, and she goes like, boo boo through there, don't you? Yeah. I think we'll leave you here, shall we? Just chill. She says, I'm on my holidays too. Come on then, Lola. You coming? Yep, okay. <laughs> 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 
delayed reaction. <laughs> Out we go. Out we go. So this is our campsite. We're in pitch Eden and we're pitch number two, aren't we? And then this is like the main bit where the shop is, there's reception. There's also a bar. They do have a cafe and takeaway open. Takeaway, but it's not open at the moment because they're short staffed. The bar has a pub, like that's actually yeah, the I pub through that, there. Right. Yeah. So, um, you wait there. I'm gonna go have a pee pee. You go down here, and that's where all the bathrooms are. Showers, very pretty, with gardens. So we're walking to St. Ives, as previously mentioned. The main road is so busy and really fast cars. So we're, f we're navigating hydrangeas. We're navigating through the bush. We will eventually get there. Hello, hydrangea. Um, but just a safer option, and it's actually, this is way more fun. Look at this, cool. Diana's just pulling, stop pulling. I'm gonna get real stung legs. Stinging nettles and thistles. Ooh. There we go. Right. We had a few confusing moments. Uh, but we found an alternative route. It's quite nice though. Just trying to avoid the really busy roads. They're crazy busy, aren't they? <laughs> Gate. We're here. We made it. It was a really nice walk, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It's good that there was, um, we found an alternative route. Yeah. Goals allowed. <laughs> we're sitting here and we're going to have some food that we got from St. Ives Great Bakery. And what we got there then? What you get? I got my pasty first. Mmm. <gasps> Vegetarian. That's so heavy. They are. No, you can't have any. A little coffee. Stan. Sit here and just watch. These are amazing. You get the traditional one. Yeah. I got cheese and vegetable. So good. Mm. St. Ives Bakery. It's like bread, <clears throat> pastries, and I got a corona thing. And you got a bake well. Mm. Yum. Let's go down here and have a look at the rocks. Found a nice peaceful spot away from the crowds. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Should we go down here, Phil? There's a path that goes round the edge. Let's go down these stairs. Look at he's got. Thank you. This is Moo Maids. Moo Maids of Zenor. Is it good? Good? Banging. So the option was to wait an hour for the bus or walk back. That takes an hour and get back before the bus. After our lovely day of eating and drinking for our way of St. Ives, I thought it would be just a good idea to just probably walk back. And it, it's such a nice walk actually. You hit a public footpath and then you just go through this kind of cool, windy, country roady thing and then you're there it's nice it's just a lovely walk oh sun setting over there and we're just down here the girls are, we let them off in the field and they had a good old run around they loved it bit of freedom it's been on the leash all day bloody lovely lovely <laughs> good morning from the tent we have a little surprise welcoming us uh, there's a frog in the dog bowl hello 
Ooh. I, I don't want to get it out, Phil. <laughs> It'll jump as soon as... Pick the ball up and take the ball No, up. I'm doing it. I'm not doing it. You do it. Time went over there and she flinched. I went, why did you flinch at your bowl? And then I looked and there's a frog in it. It's so cute. We've come to Pendennis Castle. I am hiding away in a window. <laughs> I will get my raincoat out of the bag, but Phil's got it. Very drizzly. This is Pendennis Castle in Falmouth. And this is the site. I don't know much about it. I don't know anything about it yet because I've not looked around. But once I've looked around and informed myself and educated myself with the history here, I shall tell you. Raincoat is on. Oh, it's got a little cat bit, isn't it? Mm. Cool, isn't it? Cool. We're now in the castle. Oh, look, got a little fireplace there. This looks I wasn't expecting this. Before 1540, there was a little to stop the warships of England's enemies, France and Spain, entering the River Fowl. All right, okay, so it's a, a fighting castle. I suppose you were, they are a bit exposed, being this far down. Up the steep staircase. Are you carrying Diane? Yeah. Oh, a room. Cannons. Ooh, little beach over there. I think that's where we're having our lunch over there. Oh, lovely. It looks nice and bright over there. That's where the clouds go. Oh, man. Now, it is brightened up. It is gorgeous out. We've, we've come to a place called Hooked on the Rocks in Falmouth for lunch. And you should see our view. This is the view for our dinner. Look how beautiful it is been very busy everywhere we've been going recently which is you know as anticipated but it's nice and quiet here what are you thinking i want to try the lobster but i've never had lobster before have you not no it's quite sweet is it mm. Mm. so i really wanted to try lobster for the first time seafood restaurant and I don't really look for but I have a phobia of like crabs and lobsters so even though this is delicious it's even mm. Phil I'm making Phil sort it out for me oh my god I don't like it I'm scared but it tastes so good and I want to oh why is that wiggly bit that's me oh, fuck it's just all this stuff that freaks me out he's taking it we've got all the meat out we've got risotto Mm. Mm. We have come into the town centre of Falmouth now. Hugs! Hello, hugs! Oh, wow, can we look in here? This is gorgeous. I know this is a total food fest, but it's our evening meal now. We're at a place called Robo, which is a Asian restaurant ramen, sushi, a bami, fraz. So good. What's this place here? Scrumptious. Good morning from Lizard. Lizard is a little... Lizard is like Lizard. <laughs> I can't talk. We've come to a place called Lizard, which made me lol. But we're here, and this really, really nice little village. Um, those little gift shops and um, cafes and stuff, and it's on, on the end of a point. There's a lighthouse here. We got up relatively early, drove here, parked up. We are going to get a bus to a place called Poldu and walk back here via the coastal route. So I'm very accustomed to doing this in Norfolk, doing the coastal roads or coastal path where you park up, bus to where you want to start your walk and then walk back to your car. I'm all for that. So I'm going to do it here in Cornwall because they've got a really, really gorgeous coastal route. So I thought that would be probably be the best way to see it all. Um, we're going to see places like Kynan's Cove. But we're here starting off coffee. We have proper breakfast when we get there to Poldu. What's Phil saying today? You right? Yep. Happy I've got my morning coffee now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to this walk so it should be nice. Stretch your legs for a bit. We've done lots of walking like around town.
towns and stuff, haven't we? But mm. not like a proper walk for the sake of like going on a walk. No, and also seeing all the like the Pretty. countryside. Yeah. <laughs> Moving it. Action cam. Action cam. Bye bye, lizard. Cove. And we're gonna walk back to Lizard. So we're gonna follow the coast path all the way back down Lizard's that way. So I'll take a few out, like a couple of hours I should assume. Exciting. We're having breakfast first at the Poldu Beach Cafe. There's breakfast baps and stuff. There's a surf school here. And I've just got this hot chocolate. They're they're quite famous for. <laughs> well they they pride themselves. Ooh. What's in yours? Sausage bacon egg. I've got vegetarian sausage and egg. You want a hash brown? That's a good breakfast. Very filling and warm. We're now joining the beach path. The coastal path, which we asked the life lady, lifeguard lady. Coastal path is basically where well, everywhere around the UK has one. You follow the acorn. I thought that was just a Norfolk thing, the acorn. Turns out it's not. Oh God, it's beautiful. Look at this. Wow, what a lovely beach having their surf lesson. I wish I was having a surf lesson. <laughs> Ew. Cove. Cove. This is Mullion Cove. Look at how beautiful that is. I always just think of the Goonies walking <laughs> through this bush. Careful, watch your ankles and the nettles. Oh. Ankles and nettles. Nettles! <laughs> Not nipples! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> Actually really nice weather today. It's a little bit breezy. It's quite warm, so that just knocks the edge off. And even though the sun's not beating down, it's quite it's quite humid, isn't it? It is, yeah. Definitely if you're walking, you're wearing Ow. a t-shirt. Ow, yeah, yeah, because I'm too hot in a coat. I'm very That's careful on these stairs. Come on, Diane. This keeps happening. Ugh. Oh, we just passed a rock called Love Rock, so I gave him a kiss. Because <laughs> we're in love. <laughs> We just had the biggest Cornish pasty I've ever had in my life. I shall insert a picture of it right now. But uh, I, I wasn't filming because we made friends. These, this other couple asked if they could sit with us because there was no other tables for him. We were like, yeah. And they were just like the funniest, fun people. And I really, really wish, I really wish I'd got like, they're not a number, well, I guess number, or like Instagram handle or something, stay in contact because they were so fun. Leaving the cove. Ah! Watch out, Loli, we've got to get around this corner. Up we go. To the tap, and then we're just going to walk back to Lizard from here. We set off for we're the um... bridge together. Madam Hooch, who was still overseeing Gryffindor practices. Welcome to Land's End. We're here. Land's End. Though actually, where we were in Lizard was actually the most southerly point in the mainland UK. Cool, cool, round world as well. Right, we're a little bit miffed and a heads up to anybody coming down this way. So, 
When we went to John O'Groats, it was just a sign that was just there, wasn't it? A signpost. And here we arrived and we had to pay seven pounds to like enter the area. Went down to take the picture of us at the sign and they've taken it down and put up like a nighttime one, which was like just, a just, just a little crappy temporary one, which wasn't that great. And I think all of the people that were waiting to get a photo were because someone was explaining it that worked here just weren't that happy that we've all paid seven pounds to come here to not have the actual pic like the actual sign now i don't know could we be to blame and say well you should have done your research and looked it up but equally i honestly thought it was just yeah like, just I a sign to, like i don't know they didn't do it. <laughs> like i thought it was going to be something like that like at John O'Groats but I just think that's a bit like I would have preferred if they would have said when we were entering just so you're aware we take the sign down at this time yeah. so we could at least make the choice to go oh, okay well we don't really want to pay seven quid to not get the picture with the sign should we get donuts yeah. at least we can get donuts um, <laughs> yeah. because we've got our wall of love at home which is like family and friends and and, and like landmarks I suppose and we've got John O'Groats and we wanted to put Land's End at the bottom of it. <laughs> like the build up to this holiday we're like we're gonna get our picture to put underneath it. Phil's in a really bad mood oh, now. It just really pisses me off. It's like when you get awful surface at a restaurant. Had they said oh you know we take the proper sign down and we're shutting it everywhere in half an hour we'd have gone all right yeah we'll come back tomorrow morning our bad. It's not obvious to see on the website, Eve. You have to really Google it to find it. And if you don't know, you don't know. Turns out that the sign is actually owned by a local photography company that own the sign, therefore take it down. And it's only up between 10 and 5. I always just thought it was a signpost. Yeah, like the one in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Back at the tent, we pop to St Ives for a pizza later. We had a, we had a quick drink. We had a look around and then we had a pint uh, pizza. We shared a pizza. Just a little something. Didn't we? And uh, got to see St. Now's and I thought it was nice. You have any little lay down, Dee Dee? It's been a long day, hasn't it? Probably watch a movie on the iPad and go to sleep. Like night. night. It's home time day today. We stayed in Bath last night. We got to Bath yesterday. It took ages to drive from Cornwall to Bath because the traffic was mad. Um, we got to Bath, had a look around the shops, had dinner. I want to show you this hotel though before we leave that we're staying in. So, staying at number 15, Great Pulteney. We were staying in the coach house. So, this little room tour. So, you get a vinyl player. There are vinyls in the reception area, which you can choose. We've got like a Motown one in there though, which is awesome. You get a Dyson hair dryer, and then a um, little tea and coffee making area, which we've used. I need to take them biscuits because they just look going great. And we're all packed and ready to go, but it's dog friendly. So on arrival, we had these little boxes, which have doggy treats in. A tennis ball each, a roll of bags, poo bags, Tritos. I went to Space NK yesterday and got some goods. This is the bed, which was amazing to sleep in after five nights in a in a tent. But it was so comfortable and huge. And last night we after dinner we just came in bed, watched a movie in bed. This is the bathtub, which is so so nice. And then there's also a huge shower head and shower in here, all marble. Toilets in there, but filled in there. We won't go in there. Um, over here, just there, is a park. So we just took the girls out there for poo poos and wee wees. That's the main building out there, but I think the coach house is where the dog, dog friendly rooms are. But it's beautiful. But I need to show you something which is just so good. They've got like this little tuck thing. So there's little bags, and you can have pick and mix. There's also flapjacks and these great cookies. There's popcorn fruit got a fridge in here with milk in and cans and you all help yourself it's all free you just yeah love that this is the coach house which we stayed in this is the main building someone's Porsche oh it's got nice cup holders you were right and then this hallway is really cool bless you 
hats and canes on the wall. Hello! Then this is one hallway, all this artwork in. And then got some really cool. Oh, here are all the records. Oh, cool. Oh, that's a nice cabinet. And this is the reception, which is just so nice. It's lovely. Anyway, off we go. I gave the key back. Oh, you did? Yep. Let's go. And it's on this gorgeous street. Goodbye. What do they do? asked Malfoy. What is the point of 